Happening right now, commuters across South Jersey are sounding off and demanding answers as to why the 295 construction project retaining wall crumbled. This was nearly two weeks ago. Local lawmakers are hosting a virtual public meeting, and the NJ Department of Transportation Commissioner is expected to have some answers. NBC 10 City Long reports tonight from Belmar. A few days after the I-295 retaining wall partially collapsed and the road under construction caved in, Assemblyman Bill Moen spoke directly to New Jersey DOT's commissioner, Diane Gutierrez Scassetti. I was informed that there was an independent investigation that was that was taking place um, and that they were hesitant to really you know, jump to conclusions. Tonight, though, Moen and thousands of commuters. If it's something that's, you know, unforeseeable, Okay. Expect answers. If they were cutting corners, then, you know, something should be said about it. Drivers are being encouraged to weigh in during a virtual public meeting. It comes as crews using giant machinery are taking the wall apart. At this point, this project uh, will end up having a price tag of over $1 billion. Assemblyman Moen offered perspective, saying if you had a child that began kindergarten when construction here began in 2013, they'll be in college. When it's finally complete. When you're telling a family that, oh, by the way, there's going to be another year to four years tacked on uh, to this work, it impacts. What caused it? Yeah, what was the reason? Uh, is this a design problem? Is this isolated to this specific instance? Or is this something that we need to be concerned about across the board? The northbound right hand lane remains off limits as repairs happen. The Department of Transportation has already said it's running four years behind schedule, with a completion date now well into 2028. Lawmakers and commuters are hopeful that tonight's meeting is the first key step in making sure that the process here remains transparent. And also that the work on the roadway going forward is safe, secure, and sound to drive on. Definitely the root of it should be out and, and say, hey, you know, this is why it happened. If there's a chance that um, there was a mistake made, that we are going to bring that to the, to the forefront uh, for the public to understand yeah. um, and make sure that uh, they're held accountable. Reporting from Belmar, Sydney Long, NBC 10 News.